Hello everyone. Welcome to the All Summer Long Collaboration. We're on the 20th of each month from October 2020 to October 2021. We are posting a project of our choosing, but it's themed. And this month our theme was ice cream and we have an optional color challenge of blue. Now, I don't normally think of blue when I think of ice cream other than coolness or cold. <laughs> but anyway, let me let me show you what I use. I have part of a collection left. And this is all of this sheet of paper that's left. Um, it's called A Perfect Summer by Lori Whitlock. And I believe it's Echo Park. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Echo Park. But then I have like six of these simple stories, sunshine and happiness, um, four by six and four by four vertical elements, which have an ice cream cone and this, a, a sweet, let me get it in frame, a sweet celebration, yummies old fashioned ice cream, sweet and refreshing and joy with an ice cream cone and also the ice cream truck so i use some of each of those and i have like i said i have about six sheets so you can see but these were simple stories the funny thing is i have like three other summer collections besides the um echo part the one i showed you with the ice cream paper and none of them are simple stories so i think I might have bought these in um, I think this is 2016 one of them said 2016 on it yeah this one I'm sure I probably got them all Tuesday morning anywho yeah it's the same anyhow um, I think I got them for one year I did a uh, girls just want to have sun uh, collaboration uh, it was like two or three summers ago. I don't remember. So I use those. I also use this little Lawn Fawn um, sweetest, sweetest Flavor stamp and die set, which I bought off um, Jen Evers on one of her crafty garage sales not too long ago. I think and then I also use so much happy by Stampin' Up. I used happy birthday on one and happy to celebrate you on another. I use Stampin' Up layering ovals on one and I use the 2020 to 2022 in color enamel dots in the magenta madness color on one or two and I use the holiday rhinestone basic jewels. Uh, these these all four th things by Stampin' Up are in the annual catalog. I, anyway, I use this color, which is actually Coastal Cabana, but it's pretty close to Pool Party, which um, I used um, the two cardstocks, Pool Party and Magenta Madness. And the last thing is, uh, this is a brand new pack, but I had two cards out of the Assorted Memories and More cards and envelopes. And those cards are four and a half by six and a half inches. Um, yeah, four and a, the larger ones are four and a half by six and a half inches. So I was um, wanted to make larger cards because those cut aparts actually are mem like memories and more project life type style, right? Anyway, so that is everything I use. So let me show you my cards. I made cards this month. <laughs> Duh. Um, last month I made a pocket letter. So if you missed that, that'll be linked at the end of the, the playlist will be linked at the end of the video. Um, that will just have two videos in it so far. And as we have more throughout the next year, there'll be more in there. So here's my first card. I use pool party card stock. Now this one I cut. Uh, this is eight and a half and I just cut it at six and a half and then this is um, Six and a quarter by four and a quarter so it fit on perfectly 
And all I did was the, um, the Lawn Fawn die has this little heart. And I was cutting out this cherry. So I got, um, I cut it out twice and I got two little hearts. So I put them on and then I just put the three Coastal Cabana Holiday Rhinestones. And inside, here's the happy and birthday from Stampin' Up! And the little ice cream cone with the little face on it by um, Lawn Fawn. Uh, this is stamped in Crumb Cake ink by Stampin' Up! And colored with the Stampin' Blend in Light Crumb Cake. And then I just stamped a little face in Pool Party as well as the sentiment. So that's card number one. And then the second one is the same, except I have it on one of those Memories and More cards, which are nice and thick. Um, but I put, I backed this on, um, oops, I got a little glue there, on Magenta Madness, bright pink, to bring out that pink. It's the closest pink I had to that. Um, so I didn't do the blue on this one, except there's blue here. Anyway, this is cut to... Um, let me think now. This is six and a half, six and um, six and one eighth by four and one eighth, and then this is six by four. So it's just a small border around it, and it has. This is intentional. I think it just has this sort of splattered up sign look. Anyway, and inside, I did the same thing. My happy got a little weird. I just noticed that. <laughs> And I stamped a little Lawn Fawn ice cream cone up at the top. I may have to put another one over that. So then I cut into that last piece of ice cream paper. This is what's on the back of this paper, this stripe. And I used these scalloped ovals, the largest one, by Stampin' Up! And I cut that out of Pool Party. And then this was... Um, one of the cut apart. Let me see if I can find one to show you. Yeah. Like this. And I just fussy cut the ice cream cone out and bumped that up on dimensionals. And then it had a tiny little red dot on the top there, but it didn't look like much like a cherry. So I stamped a little cherry and I left this intact and just die cut it. And then I colored, I stamped it in real red by Stampin' Up! And I colored it in with light real red. And uh, I did put Wink of Stella all over the ice cream. And again, the Coastal Cabana um, gems. There was a blue dot on the ice cream there, the sprinkles. So I just put one of the gems there and then two other ones. And then inside I put, this is actually the border strip on the bottom of the, you know, the edge of the paper. So, but I left it on because it coordinated because it's actually what's on the back of the ice cream paper. Uh, so I put them at the bottom and I stamped in real red, You're the Sweetest by Lawn Fawn. So I put of all the flavors, that was part of the Lawn Fawn stamp. And then inside, You're the Sweetest. And put that on like that. And it's blue, it's pool party blue, but it's blue. And then the last one I did is again on the Memories and More card. I put it on pool party, put a little bit smaller piece of the ice cream paper on. Man, I have glue everywhere. I have to get that off. Anyway, and then this was another cut, cut apart the ice cream truck, but I cut some of the edges down. I put it on another piece of pool party and just put some bling there and inside a strip of the ice cream. And I put happy to celebrate you this time, which could be birthday. It could be any kind of you know, accomplishment, something like that. So those are my projects for this month's November all summer long collab. Um, these are both birthday, right? Yeah, so I have three. Well, these two are definitely birthday and this is You're the Sweetest. Could be birthday or again, any celebration. And this is any celebration. So there you have it. I'm thinking summer birthday, and I love ice cream. That's a weakness that I really should not have as a weakness. But now that it's getting colder weather, I don't have as much desire to eat it. So that's a good thing. And I'm almost out of it anyway. So, <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Please be sure to go check all the other 
collaboration participants down in the description box below and hop along over this it, oh i almost forgot to say this wonderful collab is hosted by brandy over at left-handed crafter so thank you brandy it'll help us get through the winter when we're freezing and we can think about summer coming up and then we'll be complaining about summer being too hot and want fall to come <laughs> it's a cycle we know this by now at least us old folks do but oh well we'll enjoy our ice cream and our summer themes right all right everyone thank you so much for watching have a great day great weekend and i'll talk to you soon bye for now